party people! We are back in class. Woohoo! Although some of you guys are still online, but that's on purpose. Um, so I just want to talk to you guys about SLOs because I keep getting a whole lot of emails about, you know, I don't understand this about SLOs or I don't know what the checklist is, whatever. Okay, so first of all, you have a checklist and you have an essay, okay? You're to use that checklist with the essay. If you'll use the checklist and then just check everything off as you have it, then that essay will not fail, okay? So um, the thing is though, they're like, well, you know, do I just upload it or do I need it? Yes, you need it and yes, you upload it. It has its own spot, okay? Now it's part of the 30% of your grade, so um, by the time we get a whole bunch of grades in there, it's not going to be worth a whole lot. But if you could get an easy 100 on it if you turn it in, or a zero, I'd say, just turn it in. Um, but make sure you're using it on your SLO. It's really going to help you, and it has everything that you could possibly know. Now, your essay is part of the 40% of your grade, so it by itself is worth 10%. So what you want to do is make sure you put your SLO in the SLO essay portion, okay, so whichever SLO you're doing, all right? So make sure you're separating them, make sure you're using the cover sheet with the SLO, and then they'll mesh together and it'll be great. If you need help, you can go to the ARC and take the checklist and your paper and the prompt with you and they can help you. If they sign off on it, um, bring your rough draft where they signed it to me and I'll give you an extra five points, okay? Now, um, everything has to be, as far as your checklist and your um, essay itself, your final draft, has to be in Brightspace. It's because I don't take anything in person that is gonna be for a grade for you. Um, we do quizzes in class, but um, as for your main grades, I cannot do that. And the reason for that is because everything gets lost. like. I've lost pens that I just had in my hand. So you definitely don't want that. So to protect you and me and everybody, we just put it in bright space, okay? Do not wait until 11.59 on the day that it's due. Lots of people are trying to put stuff up on bright space and I don't know enough about bright space to know if it'll crash or what. Not to mention, something may happen. Maybe your internet goes out. Maybe you're at a football game. Maybe you're at a tournament. That's not an excuse. You have three weeks to write a five paragraph paper. And I'm telling you now that they have all been assigned. And so because I went to a football game, and I know especially with you guys of dual credit, um, you guys have a lot of varsity games on Friday night, um, turn it in beforehand. Some of y'all have to go to the JV games on Thursday. Turn it in on Wednesday. You've had three weeks to do it. Just turn it in early. If you turn in something, um, then you can, like, if you don't finish it or whatever, but something is in there, then I'll give you a 50, and you'll have two days after I grade it to correct it, put it back in there for a 70. Um, that way, you aren't um, stuck with a zero, because if you don't turn anything in, it's a zero, okay? So make sure you're doing that. So let's talk about the essays themselves and the structure of them. So it's a five paragraph essay. You're gonna have a intro, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion, okay? Not hard. Um, paragraphs are not one sentence long, though. Get like four or five, six in there, okay? Um, make sure that you have them flow. It's supposed to be an essay. So do an outline first. You can do a list I have in the portal, not portal, it's Brightspace now. Um, I have in Brightspace a, um, paper formula that you can use, and if you're the kind of person that writes in lists, you can use that. Or if you think in pictures like I do, do a spider graph. It'll totally work. Um, so just whatever works for you, make sure you do it so that your thoughts are continually going through there. Um, make sure that um, you know you have understand that it is a formal research persuasive essay, okay? So keep in mind, Five paragraphs is the minimum. So if you do the minimum of everything and you do everything correctly, like what's on the checklist, that's going to get you a B. Okay? You do the minimum stuff, you get the minimum grade. No big deal. If you're happy with that, that's cool. If you want to try for an A, then you're going to need to critically think and maybe write some more. Um, put a new spin on it that maybe nobody else has thought about. 
um, show me that you've actually worked on it, okay? Um, so, five paragraphs, and you've just done the what you've been asked, then you met expectations, that's a B. If you want an A, you're going to have to exceed expectations. So let's get to formal. What does it mean? We do APA formatting. A lot of you guys are probably used to MLA um, from high school or English classes or something like that. We use APA. I have um, in your uh, Brightspace a couple of documents that explain APA and how to do in-text citations and references. That brings me to persuasive real quick. Um, it is your opinion but you do have to support it with evidence. I had somebody last semester who didn't have in-text citations or references, and I said, I gave him a 50, and they were very upset with me and said, why? And I said, well, because you didn't have, you know, in-text citations or references. And they said, well, I just, this is the stuff that I thought about, and so I don't need references. And I said, well, it's also research. And so that's a problem. <laughs> so make sure it is your, per, your, um, your own opinion, but that you're going to support it with evidence, okay? So, back to formal. Um, no first person, no contractions. Um, it needs to be 12 point times Roman, like I have in your um, bright space as well. It's called SLO requirements. I believe if you're in Texas government, it's attached to your questions. If you're not, um, then it might be a separate document, but um, I have six pages of instructions for every single thing that you could possibly want to know in there. So, um, I mean, you don't have to necessarily read the whole thing. It's not that bad. I know it says six pages, but two of them are the um, rubric, so, you know. But check that out. Um, so no first person, no contractions, Times New Roman, double spaced, um, that sort of thing, okay? Uh, research, no dot coms. We do not use dot coms in here. Because dot coms, all they are, it means commercial. So somebody is being paid to make you think something. Okay, so we don't use news outlets. No CNN, no Fox News. Not that they're fake news, it's just that they have shareholders and at the end of the day they're a business. They want to make money. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to understand that they're going to tell you what you want to hear. So if you're watching CNN, it's going to be very left-leaning because their shareholders are Democrats. If you are watching Fox News, it's going to be very um, conservative because that's what their shareholders want. They're going to do what their shareholders like, okay? So no um, newscasts, anything like that. Um, OpenSecrets.org. No, 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 no. Um, that has so much fake stuff on it. So no .coms. Be very careful with .orgs. Procon.org is another one we don't do because there's a lot of misleading information. No wiki anything. I did not know that wiki was a .org until a couple years ago. I thought it was a .com. No, now I gotta go and tell you about it. Um, but all of these things are referenced on that checklist to remind you so you don't forget. Um, persuasive. Uh, pick a side and support it with evidence. So don't give me an informative paper. I don't need an informative paper. I want to know what you think, okay? So for instance, on one of them, um, the question, I believe in Texas government, it's about executions and whether or not they're, you know, if they're good or not, like should we have them? So if you want to take the side that they're bad, um, you need to say, okay, well, constitution or um, executions are unconstitutional and do not deter crime, are not good for social justice and criminal justice, okay? So that's your side that you're taking. It's your opinion, but you're not using I, me, or myself. And also, part of that question has, you're already three of your body paragraphs. Is it criminal justice? Is it social justice? And does it deter crime? So keep in mind, read those questions really carefully. And I'm going to do another video about um, each uh, question, like each class. Okay? Um, so, hopefully that helps you out. Um, make sure that it's in dot .docs. Uh, please don't give me a PDF. Um, if you do it in pages because you just don't have any other choice, sometimes I can open it, but um, anyway. Just make sure it's in on time. Make sure you got a cover sheet. Make sure you have a reference page. 
Um, those are also outlined on that checklist and it'll teach you exactly how to do it. Um, the Owl at Purdue is also a good one. And um, hopefully you'll do really, really well and turn it in on time.